Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Kuzem. I am an employee of Ericsson and I have the privilege of being paid to contribute to open source and to make the world a better place. And for that, I am very appreciative. I would like to show you a really cool feature that's coming up really soon. Here we have um, a program, Quake 2, the Yamagi port. And I just want to show you the only thing I added. I added the flag F time trace to the C flags. So now, if I were to compile it, takes a little time. And let's say that you want to figure out what's taking the time of the compile. You will need to open, according to their documentation, every make file or, or every trace one at a time. Let's take a look at our traces. Each C file generates one trace. So if you open each one one at a time, it's, it's going to take a very long time to find the dominator. Let's see if we could do something better in Trace Compass. So now I'm going to go and import in a new project. The quake to the quake to trace. I'm going to tell it that it's F trace. We don't need to. I just want to save a little processing time. And I'm going to create an experiment. An experiment is a set of traces. And that's really cool because it basically allows you to merge several traces together. And because of that, instead of opening one trace 220 times, we open 220 traces one time. It is currently sorting the traces. It has finished the sorting action. There we go. Once it's loaded, you can see, oh, maybe I want to optimize for this function. But then if you look at this compared to, oh, we, that, now that I resized, has become this infinitesimal uh, chunk. Let's say we compare it to something around here. Ah, I just found it. This is where we actually spent all of our time. We should be looking at this section here. This is something where Trace Compass excels at giving you the big picture before you do a deep dive. But if you feel like doing the deep dive, we're really good at that too. I hope this was informative. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.